Kubespray is a combination of Ansible and Kubernetes and you can use Kubespray for deploying production ready Kubernetes clusters. We have a detailed video on how to deploy a Kubernetes cluster using Kubespray. Please find the video from the description. This video is an extension for that installation video and we will learn how to add a new node or how to add multiple nodes to the Kubernetes cluster which is deployed and managed by Kubespray. Before that, if you are watching our videos for the first time, my name is Gini and welcome to TechBeatly. If you think our videos are useful, you may please subscribe to this YouTube channel to get all the latest videos. You can manage the full lifecycle of uh, Kubernetes clusters using Kubespray and in this demo we will see how to add uh, new nodes to existing Kubernetes clusters which is managed by Kubespray. For the demo, we have a running Kubernetes cluster with one master node and two worker nodes. You can see we have the cluster running with one master node and two worker nodes. So the step one, provision and prepare new nodes uh, or multiple nodes uh, for adding to the existing Kubernetes cluster. So create new nodes and make sure it is available from the machine or workstation where you have your Kubernetes Kubespray repository. Step 2. Update the inventory. Make sure you are using the same inventory host file used for cluster installation or it is matching with the current Kubernetes cluster infrastructure. Also configure passwordless SSH key based uh, access to new nodes. Then update your inventory uh, my cluster host.yaml with the new nodes information. We have a new node uh, named node 3 and we will this add node 3 information in the inventory. Step 3. Run cluster.yaml to add new node to the cluster. We will use the same cluster.yaml and kubespray will take care of the new node. Wait for the playbook to be completed. I will post the video until it finish. Step 4. Verify newly added node in Kubernetes cluster and let's see if the nodes are added to the Kubernetes cluster. Here you go. The new node named node 3 is part of the cluster and you can schedule workload on the same. You can do the node removal or upgrading of the Kubernetes cluster using the kubespray in the same way. You will find those videos in our channel. Now you know the ease of managing Kubernetes cluster using Kubespray. Uh, that's all for this video. Please like the video and ask in the comment box if you have any questions. And dislike the video if you think the video is not good. Also consider subscribing to this YouTube channel for getting latest videos. See you next time with another video. Thank you.